What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of FGC, AKA Crazy Hair Chris. So welcome back to the Fish Warehouse. We are back in action. Um, we got a lot of stuff to do today. First things first, I want a big shout out to, I don't want to butcher the name, this comment right here, Saquon, Saquon, or something like that. Big shout out to this comment. I think in every video I'm gonna shout out at least one comment. So big shout out to this comment. This is the type of positivity we want on this channel. You know, kind words, I appreciate that so much. You know, this is the, I'm new to this. You know, I'm filming by myself, starting the channel all by myself. So I usually have Brooke and Jack with me. So that means a lot, getting those positive words. I love that. Let's keep that going. So, so maybe in the next video, your comment will be shouted out. But thank you to that comment. So the fish warehouse is going strong. We have a lot of stuff that is new that you guys haven't seen. Once again, I, I really hope I can show you this week. So hopefully on Thursday maybe, I can show you what is going on in the fish pond. But right now, I can't. We got a lot of new stuff. So I will very soon, but right now, it's a no-go. But I do have a question for you guys. What do you want to see on this channel? Let me know in the comments. I want you, I want a lot of comments down there. I want a bunch of video ideas. Drop down below what you guys want to see on this channel and I will make it happen. Also, let's get this video to a thousand likes. That would mean the most to me. I know the FGC army. Yeah, yeah, I'm calling you guys the FGC army. You guys better not have a problem with that. The FGC army, the fish guy Chris army is strong. So let's drop a like on this video. Let's get this video to a thousand damn likes and hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already. But today, we have a very, very cool video because I have a big plan for this mini pond. So I'm gonna show you where it's gonna go. I think right now it's just gonna go right in this corner. I think it could just fit right there perfectly. It'll fit perfectly right in that corner. So it'll go right there. And um, I do have a plan for it. They're actually, I actually ordered something online. It's a big package with a lot of stuff inside of it. You guys, I'm not gonna show you guys what it is today. It's gonna be a secret. I'm not gonna show you what it is today. In the next video, today we're just gonna set up the actual mini pond for them because I have to keep them alive. It's gonna be a temporary thing, but it's gonna be a temporary thing in the corner for now and I have a bunch of video ideas planned with them. So stay tuned because it's gonna be awesome. You guys are gonna love it. So let's start setting up this pond. Uh, we have an intruder. Excuse me, okay, he's escaped. He has escaped. Um, one of these days I will get you and I will evacuate you from this fish warehouse. That lizard better keep his eyes on a swivel. Okay guys, I do wanna give you a quick rundown on that turtle we got from the vending machine. Where is he? There's Michael, Michelangelo, I, always on a log chilling. But this turtle for some reason, I saw a lot of comments on what he is, a musk or something. He likes to stay under here. Oh, there he is, there he is actually, right there. I didn't even see him, I, I'm totally blind. There he is right there, so I'm gonna grab him. And let me show you what's going on with him. Look at him right there, he's awesome, dude. Look at that turtle. Absolute beast. He loves it in here, I love him too. He's an absolute tank. There's only one issue, he doesn't eat very much in that pond. So I'm gonna show you guys what we do. We actually put him, we actually put him in here for a little bit, just a bit, like maybe like an hour a day or something. They probably last like 30 minutes. Get him warmed up to this thing. He stays in here, and then we have to feed him in here. He's ridiculous. He is an absolute spoiled brat. He refuses to eat in the pond because he stays down below so much. So he stays in this to to eat and he eats a lot. Like he must be starving all the time because he comes out of this thing and he eats like 10 pieces. 10 pieces of those turtle pellets. But look at him. That is one cool ass turtle. Look at that turtle. He's my favorite one. Michelangelo, don't, don't uh, be mad at me, but you are just a regular old yellow belly. This guy's a rare species. This guy is a rare species, Michelangelo. You're not like him, so he's good and he's all fine. He eats, and that's all that matters. So let's release him. Swim, my friend, swim. There he goes. He likes to burrow in the sand. What a weirdo. Come on, dude. Can you, like, not? Can you be out and about and, and have fun with your boys? Come on, man. Okay, let's start getting this pond up and running. So after our first stop at the Great Lowe's, man, who doesn't love a good Lowe's trip? 
Um, so I'm not gonna tell you what I'm putting in this pond because I don't wanna spoil it for you guys. I'm gonna get them very soon. So I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys. So we're just gonna grab what we need, you know, grab the necessities. I can't wait to show you what I'm getting. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a lot. It's, this is gonna be like a, a, a good series. This is gonna be a good series. Got a good string of videos attached. This is step one. This video is step one. We got like, a lot of good, cool things we can do with these guys. So I cannot wait to show you what I'm getting. But first, we gotta set up our pond because they need to stay alive. So we gotta set up our pond. That is the first thing on the menu. Now honestly guys, let me know in the comments and drop a like on this video if you think the long form kind of format is good. Like me just picking up the camera, filming with you guys, and uh, yeah, just let me know what you think about that. I love it. I think this is perfect format for me and my channel. This is what I want to do. I want to make tons of videos just like this, just with the camera, me and, me and you guys, that's it. So let me know what you think about it in the comments, and uh, yeah, much appreciated. Now let's go set up our pond. All right, we made it to Lowe's. I can't wait to see everybody's face when they look at me walking around with a giant ass camera thinking, wow, this guy is a weirdo. Okay, let's go into Lowe's. Of course, I come to Lowe's on National Weekly Dad Day, Sunday. Place is packed out the ass, but they do have epic shovels. Just wanna let you know, epic shovels. Calling all dads, calling all dads. We need you in the Lowe's parking lot now for a meeting. Okay, we have found our section, the bin section. Wow, that's a lot of bins. That's a lot of, that's a lot of potential right here. But I don't want something too big and I don't want something too small. So I'm kind of confused. Tell you what guys, I just got kicked out of the Tupperware aisle because uh, it is the most popular aisle on Sundays, I guess, for dads. Because there's 1,500 people in the aisle. I'll be here for a good uh, another two hours. Honestly, I could use something like this. One of these toy bins. That would work good, but it's only 20 gallons. Yeah, we're gonna need more gallons. I gotta wait for these people to clear out of the Tupperware aisle. But we are, we will find something that works, okay? Just leave it to, leave it to FGC. We'll figure something out. All right, so let's check these out. This one is 40 gallons, but it's pretty tall. And, oh my God, look at this thing. Can you imagine I make a pond out of this? World's smallest pond, huh? How many gallons is this? Two and a half? World's smallest pond. So we have this one here, which is pretty decently sized, but we also have this one, which is long, but skinny. So I don't know if it's gonna do the job. So what I'm thinking is screw it. We get the big one and we see what happens. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna get the big boy. She's coming home. This is gonna, this is gonna be the start of our pond. Just something little right here. Cause that's all we need. You don't even know what's going in this. So don't get your expectations going right now, but uh, I would be excited if I was you. So this is what we're gonna use, pretty big. I think I'll do the job. So uh, let's go on to store number two, which is very important for our success. That involves not getting Tupperware, but getting stuff for the actual pond. So we have the pond itself now, and uh, let's go get the accessories, baby. Cause we're gonna need them. Let's turn this Tupperware into, into a nice mini pond for uh, our creatures. Okay, we have got our bin, and now we move on. Guys, what a disaster. Can I tell you about this disaster that just occurred? I mean, first of all, never go to Lowe's or Home Depot on a Sunday. It is dad capital of the world on Sunday. Also, there's gotta be 50, 60, maybe even 100 aisles in Lowe's. The Tupperware aisle, was loaded with dads. I mean, loaded. I mean, it was like cramped in there. I couldn't even walk. So I had to wait like 30 minutes for these people to clear out. It's like a pack of wild dogs in there, dude. Beware of the Sunday dads at Home Depot. That's a fact. All right, let's get this show on the road, ladies and gentlemen. FGC is on the move. Let's get some FGCs in the comments if you're hyped. Okay, I just left the second store. I did not bring you in because it was a Petco. And you know the Petco people. If they see a camera, it's like Channel 7 News shows up. Breaking news, man filming in store. Psychos, they are psycho in Petco. But I did get some rock. You need some rock. And I got our filter. Wow. The quiet flow really comes in handy. So I got our filter and I got some rock and we have the bin. We have everything we need right now. We have more stuff at the house that we're gonna use, but everything we need, all the main ingredients we have, okay? So Petco, I will see you later. Let's go back to the crib, build this thing, and then let's talk about what we're gonna do with it. So guys, I forgot to say, as I'm on the way back to the house, I want you guys to guess in the comments what I'm putting in the mini pond. Guess right now in the comments. I wanna see a bunch of choices. Guess what I'm putting in there down below in the comments. I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see what you guys think it is. We got our pond. 
pond. There she is. It's a big, it's a big girl. We got our rock and filter, baby. Here we go. So, this is going to be our bait fish pond for now. That is gonna be our pond right there. It's gonna work just fine because the things we have coming in the mail, there's a lot of them. That's the only hint I'm gonna give you. There's a lot of them. They're gonna do just fine in this. Plenty of water, plenty of room for all of them. And we have like, I have like, I have four, I have like four video ideas planned with these guys. That is gonna be a ton of fun. So, this is the start of something good. Now let's get this thing set up. Get these things out here. Those are some dusty rock. Always rinse your damn rock. Now if you don't rinse your rock, like a real fish guy, your pond is gonna be all cloudy and you don't want that. So rinse your damn rock, take the extra five minutes. Rubber band in the rock. That's Petco trying to sabotage us. All right, now we got some clean rock. Let's get that in the pond. Two more rubber bands. Petco is trying to sabotage us, dude. Another one. Another one. I know it doesn't look like much, but that is all we need. That's all we need is a little bit of rock. Now let's fill this thing up, get our filter on it, and we have a mini pond up and running. Can't wait to show you guys what it looks like at the end, and let's talk about at the end what we're putting in this thing. All right, that seems pretty, pretty good to me. Not filled up all the way because our filter has to work, and the things we're putting in here don't really require that much water. Get our filter in, pull her on in. There she goes. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There's our pond right there. It's nothing special. It's a bin with a filter and some rocks. That is a DIY mini pond, baby. That's how you do it. It looks pretty decent. It doesn't look that bad, not too shabby. It's gonna, it's definitely gonna do its job what it's for, okay? You guys aren't gonna, aren't gonna know exactly what it's for, but just know I ordered a lot. I'm gonna call them them. I ordered a lot of them online and they are on the way in a big box. That's all I gotta tell you and we're gonna use them for a couple of videos. So, I'm getting them, I'm gonna stock that mini pond in a future video, then we're gonna do some other fun things with them. So, you'll see that is how you build a DIY indoor mini pond right there, okay? Absolutely perfect. So thank you guys for watching. Remember, hit that like button for FGC. I need some FGCs down in the comments. Appreciate you guys so much. I will see you in the next video. FGC out.